so welcome back to the chinchilla guide so for today's video i'm going to be talking about 10 ways to prevent your chinchilla from getting sick so without any further ado let's get on to the video so the first thing that i want to talk about is giving your chinchilla regular dust baths so chinchilla should take regular dust baths because they could grow fungal infections and it's also important because chinchillas they can feel the dirtiness on them and they get really uncomfortable and stressed and you never want that for your chinchilla so keep up a good consist consistent routine of giving your chinchilla twice a week of dust baths sometimes three times but mostly it should be done twice a week and then the next thing kind of goes in with the first thing is don't bathe your chinchilla in sand or water so a lot of people think it's okay to bathe their chinchillas in sand because um it's kind of like dust and it's kind of like soft they're trying to run it at the same time it's kind of like sand it's kind of soft um it's kind of like dust sand is way more harsh and it should never be used in chinchillas it's so rough on their fur and skin stay away from sand because they sell those at the pet stores and just use natural not natural but like use good dust like this is the dust i use because i never said it in my last video it's all the way in the back I, i'll try to get it for you guys but it's the all living things dust bath and i'm trying to get it for you guys but it's the all living things dust bath and this is how it looks so i definitely recommend it if you see it at the pet store but you should never bathe your chinchillas in water because chinchillas, there's so many things that could go wrong with bathing a chinchilla in water. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, there's a lot of things that could go wrong and it should never be used for your chinchilla. The first thing is it's really uncommon and chinchillas, even in the wild, they never bathe themselves with water. They actually use volcano ash to bathe themselves, never water. And then also, while chinchillas have really like dense fur that takes a really long time to dry, so while it's drying, chinchillas could have chilling problems. So try to stay away from giving your chinchilla sand baths or water baths. And then the next thing is bee pollen. So for those of you who do not know what bee pollen is, it's basically really good in vitamins and amino acids, and you can buy it at like your gore grocery store or you can get it off amazon granulated bee pollen but i didn't put in my proper chinchilla care because it's not something that you should be really worried about that you don't have um but it does help with them getting sick less often it just gives them their vitamins and it's really nice for them i guess you didn't want scratches but the next thing is no bad pellets or treats so I said this in my last video, pellets that come with seeds, nuts, dry fruits, those are really bad. They're really high in calcium and sugar, and just stay away from those because they also give those a lot, like to sell those a lot at pet stores. And treats, most treats that you find at pet stores, they're really bad. Um, like the oxbow treats, those are good. That's been a good example of good treats, but most treats that they sell, they're just really, really bad, so... I'd stay away from those. Um, it's so cute when she does that. But yeah, just try to stay away from most treats. I, if you guys want some recommendations, I could do a video on good treats and bad treats. But you can get like cranberries or oxbow treats. But the next thing is don't give your chinchilla too many pellets or too many treats. So treats, a lot of people give their chinchillas a lot of treats because they think it's really cute and whatnot and trust me guys like i know it's cute when your chinchilla takes it from your hand like i love giving my chinchillas treats and i think it's really cute but at one point you just need to stop because chinchillas that could affect their diet and their health and chinchillas have a really sensitive digestive system so too many treats could really like mess them up and it's definitely not safe for them so you know i'd say probably once or twice a week of treats or if sometimes if you're feeling really nice three times but too many pellets when they're babies oh she just pushed it away but yeah, okay um too many pellets when they're babies you don't really want to put your chinchilla on limits and ch chinchillas who are about nine months or one years old are stop being babies but if your chinchilla is younger than that don't put them on a limit when it comes to pellets but it, it sometimes depends if your chinchilla is an adult adult um and they overeat because some chinchillas do overeat it just kind of depends on your chinchilla if they overeat or not because 
Chinchillas who overeat will become obese, so you want to make sure that you are looking out for their diet if your chinchilla is overeating. And then the next thing is do health checks often. So I can actually do a video soon about this on how to do health checks, but for this video, I'm not going to get into like how to do them, but basically you just check your chinchillas like ears feet no feet nose um eyes and stuff like that and then i really like doing health checks and you should be doing them because it's good to see if your chinchilla has any injuries so you can take them to the vet as fast as possible and chinchillas are prey animals so they're really good at hiding their illnesses or their injuries so it's good to do health checks about once a week or twice a week and then the next thing is no plastic in their cage. So plastic could rip out their insides and it should never be given to them. It's really bad for them. So just stay away from it as much as possible. You know, no bad, no plastic wheels, no plastic hideouts. Those are just really bad. And then the next thing is water bottle. Clean your water bottle. Um, so pla this is the plastic, not plastic. This is the glass water bottle that I have for my chinchillas. It's the old living things glass water bottle. And if you have a plastic water bottle, you're gonna have to clean it more often, probably like twice a week. But with glass glass water bottles, I'd say clean it once a week. And you could use a bottle brush or a toothbrush. I could also do a video on how to clean a water bottle if you guys want that. But um. You just want to do this because if you don't do it often, there could be mold building up inside your chinchilla's water bottle, either in the tonsil or either inside the water bottle, and they could get really sick from that. So try to keep up with giving them a nice clean water bottle, but you should be changing out their water about every day or every other day. And then the next thing is temperature so chinchilla should be in no more than 75 degree weather well <laughs> chinchilla should not be in more than 75 degree weather it's really bad for them they could have a stroke even 75 degrees is bad but that's the most that they can go at but it's important to just give your chinchilla cold weather that's their natural habitat so you want to make sure that you do that for them because they love the cold weather and then the next thing is, which is actually the last thing, but it is, I'm trying to get her, but the last thing is, doesn't really affect them with injury-wise or illness-wise, but it does affect them emotionally, and yes, chinchillas get very depressed when they don't have a friend. So, chinchillas in the wild, they live in groups and... It's really sad if you buy a chinchilla and they come with a friend, but you don't buy his, the friend. Like, that's going to be really sad on that chinchilla. So, even if the chinchilla doesn't come with another friend, you want to make sure that when you buy a chinchilla, it comes with the cost of getting another chinchilla. Chinchillas should always be together, even if you have just another chinchilla. Like, these two, like, that's perfect. If you have, like, three or four, that's even more perfect. But... It's important because if not, your chinchilla can get really lonely and depressed and it's just going to be really sad on your chinchilla and it doesn't matter as how, how much you spend time with them because it's still, it's still going to be lonely for them. You're still not a chinchilla to them. You're still human and you should still buy them another um, chinchilla because that is what's best and that's what it should be done all the time when it comes to buying one chinchilla. Uh, we got Lola first, and then we got Chinchy just a week after. And I want to say something just to give you guys a tip. Don't wait too long because if not, especially when it comes to female chinchillas, they get very territorial over certain things, like maybe their food bowl or their hideouts. So once you bring in that chinchilla, they could get very territorial. They could get very territorial over some things, and it could lead to a fight. So just get another chinchilla as soon as possible. But... That's basically what I had for today's video, guys. I really hope hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. I always have a lot of fun making my videos. But again, like I always say, if you guys have any other suggestions that you guys are curious about and want to do, want to see me do a video about, I would love to do a video on whatever you guys want me to do. But that's basically what I had for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. I try to post at least every Saturday or Sunday. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye!